I helped a customer with this issue a little while back. Uh, what the customer wanted to do was they wanted to create a grommet that looked like this using that 2D geometry. Uh, if you've ever tried to do this inside of Gibbs, it can get a little tricky when the center of rotation, you have a line that's on right on that Y axis or that axis of rotation. So I'm gonna show you a couple tricks to do this. So what I wanna do is here's my outline and I wanna do is revolve this. So I'm gonna go to my solids. Then I'm gonna go create solid and then revolve. I'm gonna double click on this and if I just do it just clicking on that the way it is right now, if I hit do it, I'm gonna get a little warning here. It says, cannot determine swung geometry. That's because this line right here is trying to revolve upon itself and it's part of the geometry and gives just kind of gets confused and doesn't really know what to do. So there's a couple ways around this. One way is I can offset this X by a certain amount, let's say 50 thousandths, and then I say do it. So what it does is it actually moves that center of rotation. Now this is okay, I mean it looks alright, but the problem here is, is you end up with this little hole up here. Now you can make that smaller, but if you offset that rotation, you're always going to end up with this kind of void in the center of that part. Let's go ahead and look at the top view of this and you can see it a little bit better. Here we go, see that hole right there? Okay, so what I want is I want to I want to do this. I want to create that revolve without having that hole there. So really, it's it's as easy as just removing this geometry. So I'm going to go ahead and just delete that, and then I'm going to connect these to end the geometry. There we go. So now let's go ahead and put that back to zero. I'm just gonna click that geometry, and you know this might be a little counterintuitive because it's open, but when we hit do it, you're gonna see now I end up with that grommet with no hole in the middle. So if you ever have to do a revolve and you have that center of rotation right on your, or there's a line of your center of rotation right on that Y axis, there's a couple ways to get around it. If you have any questions about creating solids or revolves, please feel free to contact your local reseller or give Gibbs Cam technical support a call. Thank you so much for watching.